Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to this week's Tavern Brawl. Now, this week we have Blingtron's Beauteous Brawl. Good luck saying that five times fast. He is ready to rumble. He changes your hero power to get a random weapon. Oh, he also just gives you random weapons. So, my flatmate Tom came up with this deck, and the link to this is in the description, so check that out for the Hearth Pawn thread. And it is a Pirate Rogue deck. Now, Rogue, of course, because you have plenty of cheap spells, as well as modifiers to your weapon. So, Sharp Sword Oil being the obvious one. And Pirates, because weapons and pirates, why the heck not? Actually, South Sea Deckhand is basically in this deck as a finisher, because, of course, you have Charge while your Weapon's equipped, which is all the time, I think, in this Tavern Brawl. Um... That coupled with oil, there are actually two deckhands and an Argent Horse Rider that I can use as potential finishers here. To remove a little bit of my opponent's damage, I have a single Acidic Swamp Ooze and a Harrison Jones. But basically most of the stuff in this deck is about attack, attack, attack. So we'll see how well that does. I look forward to hopping into this deck, so let's go ahead and go into game number one. Uh, haven't played this week's Tavern Brawl yet. Zero wins, zero losses on the counter. Let's see how well we fare. Valera versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Watch your back. Ooh, Buccaneer could be fun. Dread Corsair, I might actually be able to play almost straight away. I don't know if I want. Do I want to keep Fan of Knives? Hmm. I'm gonna Mulligan Fan of Knives. I get a blade. Fl blade flurry is good. And what do I start off with? We start off with the <laughs> a foam sword. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm actually going to pass turn one because I can hit him to face Here now. We go. And on my next turn or a subsequent turn, I can play Buccaneer and use the last charge on my weapon. And I think if he just gives you random weapons, Blingtron will. Look, when this weapon breaks, randomly summon a new weapon. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to give me the opportunity to uh, to play that. So we're going to go ahead and play Buccaneer, and I might be able to play the Dread Corsair. So I'm going to hit him to face and hope I get a weapon with three attack. Yes! So I get an Arcanite Reaper, which means I get to play the Dread Corsair for free. Successful turn two. Blood Imp is a bit annoying, but I feel like Fan of Knives or Blade Flurry are both just fine. So I'm not that concerned right now. Now we think about the attack. This looks good. Good, good, I can good. Ease your pain. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, that's less fancy. Now, it does die at the end of the turn, but at the end of his turn, he also gives a random friendly minion at plus one health. That was on the board first, though, so that should, yep, that should give him the health first. So what has he got? He has a Death's Bite. Uh, I don't really have anything else to do other than hit him. Because I quite like the idea of keeping the Arcanite Reaper. I'm not going to summon a new weapon. And bizarrely, I'm just going to end my turn. This is all very, very strange. Don't really know what to think, to be honest. Uh, this could end up being hilarious later on. Okay, Swamp Booze. We kind of could have predicted that. Power Mace. I don't have any mechs, I don't think. So... I guess... We backstab. Here we go. Hit him and some... Oh, if I summon another weapon, I can use a charge now. I'm going to hit him first. Am I hitting him first? That's basically saying I gamble that the weapon's going to be three attack. Mm, okay, we're going to summon and hope. No, it's worse. Sorry, Glavezooka. We, we gambled, guys, and it didn't work. I could have used the Eviscerate on him, but I kind of want to board clear. Um, a little bit concerned. Okay, we'll see what he gets from this. I hope he gets something really good because I'm about to play Harrison Jones. Your hero power gives this weapon plus one attack instead of replacing it. That's kind of cute, I guess. Ooh, I could play that instead. And he can't kill it. And I can leave Harrison Jones for when he has something better. I like that idea. So we're going to do that. Go, Captain Greenskin! 
take my enemy into under 30 health territory. They are bent to my command. Ooh, that could be a problem. That could indeed be a problem. I can draw cards equal to a durability of three. That's got to be good, right? Five. Hmm. I can also just clear the board. Kind of want to clear the board. Now I can clear the board with Fan of Knives. I'm going to save Viscerate for later, by the way. So, or I could use Blade Flurry, but he's only got the one minion on the board. I feel Here like that's not that useful. So we're going to play that. Draw a card. That gives me a little bit more damage in the SI7 Agent. I'm not convinced this is the best weapon for me, so I'm going to get a new one. And really? It's a King's Defender again? Really? Okay. I don't know how conservative we're being, but we're still keeping the Harrison Jones. Siphon Soul. Well, that's a big mana play from him. That is a commitment and a half. I feel like we're definitely getting an... Oh, hello. Gain attack equal... Battle card gain attack equal to the attack of your weapon. That's good. But I'm on three health, and he can hear a power to give that plus one attack. So what I could do... Do I ha I, I can't Harrison Jones that. I can't do that. So what we're going to do is start getting some board presence. And are we gambling on a big weapon? We're gambling on a big weapon. We started gambling. We're going to keep going. Ugh. Here we go. Ugh. Your hero power becomes deal two damage. Death rattle fashion. Okay, so that changes the dynamic of this game, assuming that's what happens here. Um, but when this... So I will be able to summon a new weapon, but my hero power becomes deal two damage. It's kind of cool. So he's going to make... Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. So he actually just got a new one. Right. He's using his own green skin. Fine, fine, fine. Now we decide what we want to do. I could do that. That. But that only has two charges left. I don't feel like that's worth it. Maybe it is. YOLO! Let's get... Uh... Okay, so... I didn't consider just valuing the board control there is the mistake I almost made. I should have just gone, well, I've, uh, there's only two uh, There's only two durability on my opponent's weapon, fine, but Harrison Jones is still a 5-4 on the board. So it might have been difficult if he drew a weapon that could kill him straight away, but now I've got him down to 13 health. So maybe it's just completely fine. A little bit guilty of overthinking that a bit, basically. Right, and he's going to kill off Harrison Jones' PDQ. We're going to play that, and that, and that. And we're going to say, you can't pop... Oh, are we going to do this? YOLO! Oh, come on! Oh, my hero power did become deal 2 damage, though, so let's go. I'm pretty sure we're comfortably ahead in this race. I am now a hero power away from winning the game. Um, Reno Jackson would be disgusting right about now. Something about the way he's holding his cards and thinking a lot tells me he doesn't have Reno Jackson in his hand. So I'm not that concerned. That's cool hero power. Lightning Jolt. Hmm. So I find it odd that the weapon that said your hero power gives this plus one attack instead, he uses hero power and it actually changes into a different weapon. Whereas my hero power, the death rattle, 
Uh, I used the hero power to get rid of the weapon, and then it actually did turn my hero power into plus two damage. So that's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough to save him. Alright, so we're up one and oh. Pirates are fun! Win zero? Okay, it must just be bugging out, it hasn't updated yet. Does that sometimes. Does it sometimes in Arena as well, I think. Let's go into game two, and I guess hope that it displays as two wins at the end of it. Valera versus Garrosh! Victory on death! Watch your... Do I need oil straight away? I kind of want to keep... Do I want to keep the deckhand? So, he's warrior. He's got a lot of whirlwindy stuff. I feel like the deckhand is best used as a finisher here. I won't need sap early on in the game. Blade flurry can always be useful. And sharp sword oil, I'm tempted to keep just because if I can coin it out, it might end up being really powerful. I get a buccaneer and uh, the second oil, which isn't great. But that's okay. Start off with the foam sword. I feel like we don't do very much in the early exchanges. This, of course, kills it straight away, so I'm not that interested. Here we go. What I really want uh, is a dread corsair, because that gives me room to play the black, uh, the buccaneer. I said the black knight for a second. He's like, no, that can't be right. They look nothing alike. I've got no clue why I would have said that. Right. So this forces him to tank damage. So if I play one hit, South Sea Deckhand. No, I basically lose both pirates. That's absolutely not worth it at all. Here we We're going to hit. Go. If I don't like the weapon I get, I'm summoning a new one. I like the weapon. Um, again, the problem is that. Double all damage deal to you. Ooh, hello. Well, in that case, I might even play Eviscerate on this turn. Because having Taunts up is really annoying, and if I can Arcanite Reaper to his face, that is a massive threat. Um, this actually makes Sharp Sword Oil really powerful. Okay, he's cashed in. And rightly so. That's what I wanted. That's absolutely what I wanted. Um, and now... Do I play everything? I feel like I play everything. And I'm going to play everything because I'm hoping he can't get through the taunt. If he can't get through the taunt, then oil is going to be really powerful. But I don't know for sure. Um, I mean, that basically gives, what, 8 to the weapon? And I have 10 damage on the board. Cool, so he has to deal with. Good, good. He's used his attack as well. And all he can. Okay, he's gonna cash in. Argent Lance. Not. Not satisfied, mate. Oh, but I have that. So many good cards. No, I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Hang on. Attack first, because that increases the damage of the Buccaneer. That's really bad. Uh, but okay. Okie dokie. So the attack of my weapon isn't huge. <laughs> it's extra stabby, though. That's amazing. Bringing this to 3-2 doesn't help. Ooh, I could do that. Gain attack equal to... I could do that. I will do that. So that gives me 5-5. Five, five. I can then also do that. Now I have a lot Here of charges of that. He has two damage, and the Blood Sail Raider has three health. 
And I've taken him down to 12 health. I still have armor as well. And this is before I play the South Sea Captain. Uh, I have Blade Flurry if things get extra scary. He's first attacked me to face, which I am reasonably pleased about. True Silver Champion is annoying. Bash is an excellent card for him to have right now. I will be able to take him out with my weapon. I will not be able to take him out with everything. And I... Oh, okay, I might have to play the Blade Flurry. Guys, this dude has a point. He has a point, so we do that. Bye! Easy peasy. After you summon a minion, give it 1-1 one, one, and- Oh, that's disgusting! That's disgusting! Oh, did I mention that's disgusting? And I think we might be going into 2 out of 2. I mean, he's got a lot of cards. So stuff like that can always be dangerous, but, 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 I have sap. I have sap. I have sap. Does sap win me the game? I have to hope it does. That belongs in a museum. Mm. We're gonna play sap. So the idea, by the way, is I get to play the South Sea Deckhand, use up the last bit of durability in this and get a free weapon, and then play cash in again to hopefully just cycle through two different weapons and break through whatever he puts up now. Now he has three taunts, so that's unlikely to happen. But he's on one hit point. Eviscerate! Give your weapon plus two attack. No, don't want it. Here comes the second Deckhand. What am I going to get as a weapon? Arcanite Reaper, that might be it. That might- that is it. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it, because that dies, that dies, that dies, and yes. So there we go. Two out of two, with pirate weapons. Happy days! Ooh, and I have the pa- Wait, I must have two wins now, right? Okay, good. So, unusually, we're gonna open our pack after two wins. I guess that's the thing, let's see what we get. Epic! Rare, and no good, and ooh, a second epic, not too bad. It's an Ancient of Law. That's a very dustable, very deliciously, digestibly dustable pack. And now, ladies and gents, we go into our third and final demonstration game. Hopefully we win this one as well, but win or lose. Hope you've enjoyed the deck so far, let's get into things. All right, we're playing up against a mage. Watch your back. I like having the coin. Do I need the deck hand? I don't feel like I need the deck hand. Eviscerate could be useful. Blade. I'm gonna keep one blade flurry. Do I actually want eviscerate? Not really early in the game. I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. I still want my dread corsairs to start off with. I am not complaining. Not complaining too hard at all. Blood sail raiders an excellent two drop. And we start off with the foam swords. The pleasure is mine. Hello. I could, oh, I could play that because that's two damage to random it. That might actually be worth it. It's not like I need to coin for anything else. So we're gonna play that. Here we go. Is that controversial? I do not know. I think... I think that looks sensible. Then the Blood Sail Raider, all of a sudden, gets a minimum of four attack. I say a minimum, that could get replaced with a Light's Justice or something. Let's see what he gets. Ooh, he's got a Fiery Winax. That's an... Oh, that's even more annoying. Flame Cannon. Fiery Winax is good, not gonna lie. Here so what we we're gonna go. do is we're gonna do that. And we do genuinely get a Poison Blade. Well... I'm Hero Power. We have an Assassin's Blade. Assassin's Blade, definitely a lot better. So this game's been a little bit weird so far. Ooh. 
Oh, I get a mortal strike. That could be fun-ish. I kind of don't really want to get to 12 or less health there. So, we're probably going to backstab and kill that. I can kill that with the SI7 agent and force him to use his... Uh, is I don't have anything that's for health, so I'm just going to have to mm. suck up the SI7 agent, I think. So we're going to do that. Yeah. This guy's and argue value. Here and then hit him to face. And don't forget, of course, even though we have armor, uh, he still takes the damage to face when he knocks that off the board. It's... Definitely not negligible. Someday I'll be just like you. That worries me. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a really good card, but I was going Frostbolt. Mm. That has to die. No question about it. But we are going to play Ship's Cannon Blood Sail Raider first. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. This is tricky. So I could kill that with the Mortal Strike and then just take out the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I'm not going to wait till I have 12 or less health to use this card if I think it's useful. And that looks like a pretty decent card. So we're going to do that. So I can play Ship's Cannon, Blood Sail, Raider, Buccaneer as a combo. Ideally, uh, Ship's Cannon, Blood Sail, Raider hit something with a weapon on one, dura uh, on one durability after Buccaneer so that it immediately gets one attack from a weapon, but that isn't absolutely necessary. Gorhal is a problem. You want it? I got Gorhal is definitely a problem. We think very carefully about this. But I have got a decent chance of killing the Ethereal Conjurer if, for example, I next get a uh, a one drop. I don't. I have the Argent Horse Rider. Shall we see if these hit? I feel like we should see if these hit. GLHF! Nope, nope. Oh, they've both gone to face, so I guess I'm eating that damage, but that's fine. He has a Gore Howl, which is dangerous, but I have three minions on the board. So he's going to continuously be annoying. Har no, not Harrison Jones. Acidic Swamp Hoos would be fantastic right about now. He's going to gore howl that, probably, if he doesn't have a second spell to get rid of it. Hmm. If you ever... Oh, dear. Right, now I absolutely require... Absolutely require my acidic swamp poos. This could get dangerous. Hmm, this is problematic. That's pretty dangerous and a really good card. Right. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry here. This guy's toast. Here we go. So we just have to go for it. Oh, cool. True silver is not bad at all. I think we have to say my weapon is straight up not as good as yours. Sorry about that, mate. Let's go and do damage to face. He's got good card draw. That is worrying. I only have the two cards. And he's got another Frostbolt. Now at least there's Divine Shield on this. Oh god. No, no. Well. Whatever. Wow, okay. He's going for it, and I can't really blame him. So because I can't really blame him, Here we're just we going to go. YOLO it up. He can bring me to 7 health and I'm in massive trouble. 
do I roll for a new weapon? No, because I roll automatically on the next turn anyway and give me plus two health. Help! This is not looking like it's going well. waiting for the killing blow he's he's doing he's doing this so smart there's nothing i can do about Here it we go. what weapon do i get i might have to sap him to stay alive he is at 11 health he is at 11 health and two blade flurries mean that i can do 4 8 12 damage so technically i'm within range of lethal we're going to sap we're going to sap and hope he plays it again Four, eight. No, it's four, eight, and then it depends on what comes up. It depends on what comes up. Oh dear. This is. Show them no mercy. Right. So is he gonna hit me now and lose the Gorhal? He is. I have to hope. What's he doing? He's rolling, and he gets a King's Defender. What do I get? Right, we well, go. we know what our win condition is. Oh shit! I, I didn't just swear, it's okay. Uh, this is a problem. Blade Flurry! And we Here have... We go. Uh, this... Doomhammer, of course, I can only pl uh, do once because I attack with the other one. If he has... I have no taunt. I have no taunt. If he has a fireball, he wins. Straight up. He's got a lot of cards. He has eight cards. Fireball wins in the game. Arcane missiles. If all three hit me to face, they win the game. No, they all hit his minion, though. Oh, game over. Right. Okay, that was close. Uh, I was hitting him and a blade flurry away from winning that, and I probably made a couple of small mistakes earlier in the game as well. This is a really competitive deck. Uh, we're going to end this video on two wins and a loss, but this is actually a lot of fun to play. Um, if I thought through those plays a little bit better, I think there's a chance I could have won the third game as well. I'm not going to pretend to have played it perfectly, but even then, it was so close at the end. Uh, a pity we couldn't get the uh, double blade flurry to win the game. That would have been quite nice. But never mind. Guys, I uh, hope you want to go ahead and try this deck out for yourself in Tavern Brawl. Let us know how it uh, how it goes. Comment on this YouTube video and also comment in the Hearthpawn thread. Uh, the link to that is in the description, so go check that out as well. That's it from me for now. Thank you for your likes and subscribes on the video. They're much, much appreciated. And I will see you next week for more Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. Good night.